Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the next video because this is the next video. <laughs> so hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zanila Mota. Um, to those who have supplied, oh, supplied, subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, to those who are still thinking about it, please subscribe. Please join the family. And yeah, let's get right into the video. I wanted to talk about dating, dating for marriage or dating to marry because I saw this um thing on Twitter and I was just like this could be a really good topic to talk about because I mean I have my few things that I'd want to say like talk about with regards to that now my thing is I'm not saying dating oh I'm not saying please date like please date like please date but one thing about me like and I say this now, but every time I'm approached by a man, nye, 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 I'm not, it's not that nye, nye, because even the people that are like approach me, I'm not attracted to. So I'm just like, mm. sorry guys, you're recording at home. They'd be like this sometimes. I'm not saying, oh, I'm not saying date for fun now. And oh yeah, but men sometimes, the men that, and, and like, I don't know even i'm still trying to figure out how i'd like to uh, be approached i like a man who's gonna one thing about me let me talk about me ne? side note i don't like a man who's gonna ask me out on a date and then when the day of the date comes like like i don't know i'm like dude like now it, Oh, that thing irks my skin, guys. Like it makes my skin crawl when someone asks you on a date. And then there's also these men that want to date you but without the dates. Put up on Jeremy in a good lace of in the Ganjan. It's a Vendaganjan, Gilly. Because it's a Vendaganjan. Like. So it's just I I hate it when someone wastes my time. Like I hate it so much when someone is out to waste my time because I do that all while well by myself. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. This dating to I feel like when you date, I encourage people to date, not sleep around, not do funny things. And this is when you not in a relationship. Because if you are, then that's cheating. But I encourage people today because it, it basically, that person or those people will be a mirror on how you act in certain situations. You learn about different people. You learn about how people think. I'm not saying date for fun because if you want to have fun, you can go jump off a cliff. You can go scuba diving. You can go canoeing. You can go bike riding. I'm saying date to get to know people and be open for something bigger. But don't go the uti mine. And what I mean is cut sang shire. Late. Scat sang shang men puminum shotola. Because let me tell you something guys. It's to the own. Eh? But when once you have that mentality, when you go into a relationship thinking what you're gonna date to marry, you will put up with a lot of bullshit. And I'm not saying this from, I'm not taking this out of my ass. I'm telling you this because I know this as a fact that has happened to me. I, I was once that girl who was like, no, not dating for marriage. Just having dating for fun, you know. And then I realized good dating for fun was born so jungle gym. It was born so sugar marine world. <laughs> So you go to city, so you carnival seat. So don't date for fun. Date to get to know people or the person, and then as don't put so much pressure. I feel like I'm I'm not great with words, but I'm trying to. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, right? Because I'm gonna tell you something. When you date with that mentality, you're going in first date. When I saw so come on, shut. La 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 sis. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I'm telling you, like, yo, like I feel like I can't stress it enough, ne? Because sometimes you'll just, 
be like, um, he cheated. So I let him shut when he get cheated. Already, let's say it's three months in. Already, you're like, ah, let him shut when he get like now maybe now but I'll be to buy buy cheater so so that's not a big deal. Ah, be mean. Now you're like, ah. Uh, you know, at least I didn't end up in hospital. Did you end up in hospital? Ah, uh, at least I didn't die. Hi, bo. Hi, bo, sissy. Hi, bo, booty. But I feel like it's women who do that. But that's just my opinion. Guys, when you date with the sole purpose to marry, and people like to say, if you're not dating to marry, then what are you dating for? You're dating to know people better and in you knowing people better then you can scalp with mm, yeah no wouldn't work mm, yes would work mm, mm, kind of so still getting to know you when you date to marry when you date to marry and that's your sole purpose early in the relationship you'll see you'll see you the one that makes you boom the one that makes you boom Especially when your um, other half or other fool knows what you're dating to marry, they will see how many things they can get away with because they know what hey, the moon for so one of what's I'm shy, I'm shy, scatty. So, so for now, what's okay? I'm sure if she's dating to marry, and you have good scare beggars, and that's what we taught at a young age, good scare beggars, and you, you, Bambi, she's the point, it's the point, it's the point, it's the point, things like that. We taught. Like we taught, and it's like, and then now, what you're doing is maybe you go into the relationship. You set, you set the bar this high. He cheats, it goes down. Green, come on, someone cheating. I'm not saying leave a person because each to their own. Let's say a person cheats in the first month because they know you're dating for marriage. Ah, oh, they um cheat. The 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 bar goes down. The standard goes down. Um. He beats you up. Boom. Sisla. Sisla. Zila. Um, he has a kid. I get it. You guys are not married. You're still dating. Or maybe you've established. Um, we're dating, but we kind of serious about. We're serious now. We're together. We're together. Oh, those people that go on dates and ask you the first date, what was like global warming? What's when that? No, but seriously, what's when that? Like, I had this guy once, one time I went on a date with him, right? And he said, um, <laughs> he asked me, um, what's your um, life's philosophy? Oh, I was like, uh, that time he's asking me, I'm going up the stairs, guys. Nini, so I'm questioning you, so the dip is up. And I didn't even understand what the fuck that question meant. Like, don't ask the I feel like the first date is like for chilled questions. Like, what do you do for fun? Like, how would you describe yourself? Just get to know the person. Like, I'm grilla, man. Like, I'm grilla, no. I'm grilla, no. So, but each to their own, I'm not dating to marry, I'm dating to get to know the people I'm dating or to get to know the person I'm dating. And then, and that's not me saying because I'm not taking it seriously. And I'm not saying date for fun. I'm saying get to date to get to know people or the person. And then, as it progresses, you guys will start to talk about marriage and start to talk about kids and how many kids and where you'd want to live. I would first date when I'm about you dating to marry someone who put a good in the sala. Hey, hey, bo, what's going on? No, don't do that thing. Uh, personally, I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. I'm not doing it, honey. So, mm -mm. so basically, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All I can say is each to their own. I'm not saying how I think I'm forcing it on you. But I'm just saying it. it's a different perspective. Because there's men out here. I'm not saying all men. But there's men out here. who, And also females actually. There's men and females out here. Who will see how much or... Is it how much 
or the things you let them get away with. Especially when they know, Wuti, the clock is ticking. To people who are my age, and even if you're not my age, but you just, you young, you young, experience people to their fullest capacity. Don't put pressure on yourself to, and don't put pressure on people to be the best that they need to be according to you because when you that by tomorrow or by yesterday, no, no. That's how you miss the red flags and then you see them get redder. Oh, is it red? Not redder. Redder as the day or the, not the day, the months progress. And you have to go to it for the that you created for yourself because it's like, why would you do it? So it's just things like that. So don't put too much, I feel like it puts too much pressure when you're dating for marriage and that's just my take. Take it. Don't take it. It be like that sometimes. I'm out. Please like. Please co comment. Please subscribe. And please join the family. Mwah. <laughs>